Welcome to this short explainer video on Dan Siegel's hand model of the brain. This is a simple way to understand how our brain impacts on our behaviour. So this model is sometimes known as the three-parted model of the brain. It's based on the three main parts of the brain starting from the most ancient to the most recently evolved part of the human brain. The most ancient part of the human brain is the reptile brain. This is where our survival instinct is based and this is closest to the brain stem. In the hand model of the brain, it's represented by the open palm. And then the next part of the brain is the limbic brain. This is the seat of our emotions and this is represented by the thumb. And then we have the neocortex or the thinking cap of the brain and this is represented by the fingers. And in this model of the brain, the part of the brain that is in control is the part that is the outermost part still touching the palm. So where it's depicted currently, the reptile brain is in control. If you wrap the thumb over the reptile brain, then your emotional part of the brain is in control. And then if you wrap your fingers over the limbic brain, then your neocortex or the thinking cap of the brain is in control. So when your fist is closed with your thumb under the fingers, your neocortex or the thinking cap of the brain is in control. And this is when you can learn, this is when you can be engaged in the moment, when you can make choices and when you control your behaviour and emotions. It's sometimes known as the learning zone or the comfort zone or the learning and the comfort zones. So it can help to think of your fingers wrapped over like an actual physical cap. Then the big emotions or the early panic zone, this happens as your fingers lift up and the thinking cap falls off and then the neocortex is no longer in control. So your thinking brain is not functioning as well and the limbic brain or the emotional brain is now in control. So in this state, you might be expressing and experiencing big emotions. When your emotions are in control, it's very hard to manage your behaviours. As your emotions are controlling you, you're not in control of them. And this is flipping your lid. And you can see that the lid or the thinking cap has fallen off. What can happen next is that the brain moves into survival instinct. So your thumb will flick open and that's when the most ancient part of your brain takes control, the reptile brain. And that's represented by the open palm of the hand. When your reptile brain is in control, you can't make conscious choices. Um, you can't control your behaviour. Your survival instinct is controlling you. And this is um, when we talk about zero to 100, this is 100 or this is um, when you feel overloaded or overwhelmed or sometimes described as meltdown or losing it, losing the plot. So in a hand model of the brain, your fingers and thumb open and close in response to both your internal body signals and your interpretation of the world around you. So bodily stress and distress, anxiety and fear make the fingers and the thumb open up. But bodily safety, contentment and calm make the fingers and the thumb close again. So they can go open, close and the thumb might or might not flick open. That will flick open with the when you become completely overloaded with stress, distress or anxiety, fear, rage, etc. And that's when you go into your survival instinct. When you're calm and mindful and engaged, the thinking cap is connected, the fingers are folded down. So when we want to reconnect the thinking cap, that's when we need to become um, calm. And you remember this is when the fist is fully closed around the thumb. In this state, the mindfulness part of the brain is also connected and can be used. The mindfulness part of the brain is represented by the middle two fingernails and that's active when it's touching the palm of the hand. So when we engage in mindful body awareness activities or interoception activities, this not only brings the thinking cap of the brain back down, it also activates it. And that's because we're actively using that mindfulness part of the brain. We can't do this, we can't activate this, it won't work 
during survival mode and that's because in survival mode that survival instinct is so strong it's um, the human drive to stay alive and without survival instinct we wouldn't be able to get out of very dangerous situations so this can only work from um, big emotions down.